All right, so we got some Shazam images that are coming out. A couple of them right here. Apparently, um, I don't know what's gonna. I don't know exactly what's happening, but I, I will just say this costume is just night. Nice. It, it's just it's such an upgrade. It really is such an upgrade. So, and then apparently he gets a little toasted right here when it comes to that. When it comes to the scene, I'm not sure what's happening, but you got a you got a truck that is overturned right here. So I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah. And then uh, something's happening right here. Where he's going to wield some fucking lightning because you could see it lit up right here. So good goddamn stuff. So yeah, some Shazam action happening right now with Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods. Yeah, numerous. And then there was like, there was even, um, there was even some um, set photos where people were, were basically showing uh, him like running past people and everything like that. It was, uh, let's see, not that. That's not what I wanted to click. No, ah, crap. Okay, hold on. I just lost my spot. I want to get back to it. Do you know how to Twitter? I know how to Twitter. Hey, Stella Baxter. Thank you for becoming a new member. Appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the family. <laughs> ah, Vin Diesel does it better, doesn't he? Um, but yeah, welcome to the, welcome to the family. So, uh, I think DC Verso actually had some more. Got to be careful with those though. Yeah. He, there was even like a video of stuff, you know, he was running past people apparently. I don't know. He, he's holding, I'm not sure exactly what he's holding. It looked like some kind of, I don't know what that exactly is, but yeah, he was holding something. So when it comes to Shazam and, uh, and some of the set photos. I'm just wondering what the hell happened here. He got zapped pretty damn good right there. And uh, yeah, people wearing their masks, of course, being <laughs> safe. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's happening in this scene, but I don't know. I'm just wondering why the costume is a little torched. It's interesting. Very, very interesting. So yeah, so there's that. I don't know. Shazam 2, looking pretty good. The costume, at least. We'll see what happens. Are the costumes, I should say. But uh, yeah, pretty sure that's, yeah, it is a fan. You, know, you think that's a fan running after him? And the, uh, you don't think that's like a, you don't think that was like somebody who might have been like a part of the crew? Could be. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just kind of curious of why, why his costume is partly torched. And, you know, you got, interesting. It's got little, eh. It's interesting. Like I said, he looks, he does, he definitely does look like a dodgeball. Like they took a, a dodgeball and they just made a suit out of it. You know, yeah, I don't know if anybody, you know, remembers uh, that from school, from gym class playing dodgeball, but that's what the suit kind of looks like. It, it's definitely a very dodgeball like texture, but I like it. Though. I like the texture. I, re I really like, I mean, I think when it came to Man of Steel, like I said, when that, when it was revealed, the Man of Steel costume, a lot of people were talking about that texture. The texture, I mean, that means a lot. I mean, you can't just have like the straight up tights anymore. You got to have something to it, you know, especially if it's like a magical suit or something or an alien suit. You have to have it a little more, a little more texture to it. And I love the fact that this costume, even though the last costume did too, but at the same time, you know, it's still, this one I think is just so much better because it's more, it's not as padded as, I guess you could say it's not as padded as the previous suit. So I'm really digging the fact that, you know, they're using more. I mean, it seems like they're using more of uh, Zachary Levi's body. So uh, he just had to roid it up. That's all. 